Hi everyone, welcome back to our journey into Python. Last session we looked into what is programming, what is a programming language, what are the different kind of programming languages, what is a high level language, what is a low level language, and what are the different kind of high level languages. And just for the fact, Python is one of the high level languages. Now, in this session of ours, we are going to have a quick, small recap of the history of Python programming. Then we are going to look into the applications and mostly the features of Python along with the various communities present in Python programming. Now without wasting much of your time, let's start with the brief history of Python. Now it was the late 80s when the foundation of Python just came into the mind in Guido van Rossum, if I'm just pronouncing it right. So, But it was in the 90s when the code or the first version of python that is 0 0.90 was published into alt sources so that is when our hero was born or had just laid out into this world now that our hero was born it was in the 80s and the 90s when our hero got into play but recently it got a lot of importance a lot of huskas had been there in python uh, communities and in the language itself so what were the reasons and why do we or why do you need to learn python first of all it is one of the easiest language to learn it is easy to read when i talk about easy to learn for any individual who is a beginner or who is an expert or want just want to get its hand dirty in any sort of programming language then python is one of the first choices for him the syntax is very easy it is easy to grab on. Now, apart from the e ease of syntax and the ease of learning it, we have shorter codes. We can just compare out two codes from C++ or C and Python. We will probably see that a code which is somewhere nearby 200 lines of code in C++, it can be just coded out into 10 to 20 lines in Python. That's how short it can become. Again, it is portable, it is embedded. Now, it also supports object-oriented programming. What I mean by object-oriented programming is in Python, each and everything is taken as an object. Now, we have functional programming, exceptional handling. If there's an error, we can always rear an exception over there. We have a lot of standard libraries, so we don't have to code everything by ourselves. Already things I have been coded out over there. Now we will look into all of these once we begin with the practical lessons of R. As of now, these are only some of the features of Python and this is uh, enough for you guys to get your hands dirty into why you should learn Python. Now that we know what is Python and why do we need to Python along with the history of it, let's look into the applications of Python programming. Python has a vast amount of applications in each and every industry. Name it as web development, maybe in uh, GUI interfaces, in uh, software development environments, in data industry, each and every place. Python has been growing and has built up a state of art for it. We have uh, GUI applications that are made out with Python easily from the TK Intel library. We have console based application in SD environment. We have a lot of Python frameworks like Fa Flask at the back end. In web development, we have Django to be used as a framework over there. We have image processing applications. Moreover, one of the most important applications that is present in Python is of the vast amount of machine learning libraries that Python has been giving up. So if you want to belong to that data journey or if you see yourself in machine language, or machine learning or artificial intelligence, then Python is the language that you should be starting off. Now that we know some of the applications of Python, let's look into what are the different career fields that you can move out after learning or after grabbing or after getting your hands dirty in Python. One of the very famous skill set of a Python uh, of after grabbing out Python skills are to become a Python developer. 
then you can just move into any of the data industry. Python is the leading language in the data industry. Name it as data analyst, data scientist, or any other data field. Python is the language which they have been using. You want to move into machine learning, you want to move into artificial intelligence, computer vision, anything. Python should be your first choice. Now, there are again, software developers are there who are using Python as their first language. You can be a quality assurance engineer, you can be a Python web developer, you can use Django as the framework for Python web development. Then machine learning engineers are already there, deep learning engineers are there. As I said, again, data industry has been flooded with Python code. So if you want to move into data industry or any other environment that you are planning to move out or just want to shift out your job roles, then Python is the place where you should be starting out. Now that we have covered a lot of things about Python, we learned a lot of things of Python. We looked into history, applications, features of Python. Now, a very important thing that most of the languages lack out is a great software is always backend up with great communities. And Python has one of the best communities. Python has a very big fan base. Python community is growing and there are much more level of uh, local or public communities that have been growing day to day. If you're looking for any code, hopefully you will just get it out in any of the Python libraries or you can help out, get help out from any of the Python communities. That is how important and how helpful Python can become in your data journey or your Python journey. That's it for today's session. We looked into a lot of things. We learned a lot of new things about Python. In our next session, we will start with our hands-on journey with Python. We are gonna code out our first code in Python. We will write uh, or try to print out your name into Python. Before that, we will look into how to install Python in your system. That's it for today. Thank you everyone. Until we meet again.